Now, Way 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Amber Kulik with 31 Triple Doppler. Every day feels like a new adventure when we start talking about weather. So what can we expect today? To well, surprisingly this morning, some of us are seeing some showers. Oh, really? Yeah, not not everyone though. They're not widespread, but let's go ahead Still. and dive into this this morning. So we're going to start off with a view of our Way 31 Skycam network across North Alabama. So far, so good for all of us. A nice start to your day, but like I said, some of you are getting lucky enough to see a little rain this morning. It's not really going to do a whole lot for you and it's not going to stick around very long, but at least it's something different from what we've been seeing over the past couple of days. And we're looking at those 60s across much of the Tennessee Valley as well. 31 triple Doppler. You can see those light showers right around Moulton and we are seeing some light showers starting to move into Morgan and Coleman County as well. Now, not all of this is reaching the ground and it is very light in nature, but it will stick around for the next few hours. So over North Alabama, you can see this little piece of energy trying to make its way into Tennessee and Alabama, and that's what's bringing those rain chances. The high pressure that's been in control over the southeast over the last couple of days is starting to push away from us, and that is what's actually allowing those showers to pop up this morning. As far as those temperatures are concerned, little cooler in Scottsboro. It's 59 degrees, 57 in Fort Payne. For the rest of us, we're in those 60s again to start off your Thursday. If you are taking the dog for the walk this morning, about a 10% chance you will see a shower or two. Again, not all of us are going to see the rain today. And as we head into the afternoon hours today, those temperatures will warm once again back into those 80s for your afternoon high. So still nice and comfortable. And as we head into the next few hours here, rain will start to fade away and we'll be left with a few clouds to start you out this morning, this afternoon, some more sunshine. Pretty much the same story we've seen all week long. We'll see the sunshine in the afternoon hours. A few more clouds will filter in during the overnight hours. And then the next day we'll start off with some cloud cover and then we'll see that sunshine by the afternoon hours. So the same story can be said for your Friday as well. Not a bad looking forecast as we move into tomorrow as well. If you're headed out to the fair tonight, well, things are looking good. You don't have to worry about any rain, so that is some good news. Get out and enjoy yourself. Temperatures will be nice and comfortable as well. And if you are looking forward to the weekend, we got some pretty big games going on. Ole Miss at Alabama at, at kickoff at 2.30 on Saturday. And Auburn is taking it to College Station in Texas. Will they take on Texas A&M? M on Saturday. So a nice Saturday to watch some football, but we're going to be watching for our next rainmaker. As we head into next week, a cold front will approach the Tennessee Valley, but it will start to fall apart. Now what's left of that front will bring us rain chances as we head into next week, and they're going to stick around for much of the week. So a big change from where we are right now. So enjoy the nice dry weather while it sticks around. First official day of fall comes in on Saturday. And that's going to be our warmest day of the next 10 days. After that, rain chances in cooler temperatures for next week. Again, big change from where we've been this week. Yes, indeed. But you know what? Tis the season. Oh, yes, I, for I, sure. I, and, and fall. We can now say day after tomorrow, official fall. I know, finally. I love it. <laughs> Amber, thank you.